it's the last Thursday or Wednesday of October, so you know what that means. It's time for another LEGO City Mayo City update. Hello, it's me, Mayo Hosco, coming to you at 60 frames per second in 4K resolution. No sugar, no filler, just real whole egg, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be very honest. I have not made any changes to the main part of the city this month at all. And that is because I have been concentrating on hashtag Paradisa month on my live streams. And I know lots of you watching this video right now have seen parts of those Paradisa Month live streams. So thank you for watching those live streams every Friday night in North America at 9 p.m. Eastern, or right now is 12 p.m. on a Saturday Eastern in Australia. The only stuff I have added to the main part of the city is, it is Halloween in just under a week. So that means uh, the spooky, scary skeletons and all of the other monsters and ghouls and witches and werewolves and whatever types of characters you can imagine Halloweening from Lego Collectible Minifigure Series 14 are starting to invade the city. And this is before October, October 30th. So on Halloween night, I'm sure they will be causing a lot of scariness and spookiness and try to haunt a lot of the the residents that have recently moved in to Mayo City. So they have literally just crossed the other side of the train tracks and they are marching on in to Mayo City getting ready getting ready for a happy Halloween. And by the way, the zombie cheerleader is my favorite minifigure from series 14 because I know people are going to ask that and on my 10 our live stream, which will be the next piece of content on the Mayo Hosco channel, I will be trying to create a minifig habitat for the zombie cheerleader, for the hashtag good morning brick world Halloween habitat uh, contest. So the fruits of my labor for Paradisa month is we have cleared off this shelf of my bookshelves. So we can include the stuff for Paradisa. I want to eventually change some of the colours for the Lego Friends Heart Lake Grand Hotel. I want to change some of those purples and lavenders out for pink. And I want to change out some of that pearl gold for grey to better match the colour scheme of Paradisa. So it seems like... Han Solo, I mean Luke Skywalker, and C-3PO have not gotten the memo that they were supposed to fly their craft on out of here. I know that Boba Fett and one of his henchmen got the memo because temporarily they have parked themselves on the road going out of the city. So they got the memo, but Han Solo... I mean Luke Skywalker. And C-3PO didn't. So they're still parked in this giant open area of the Paradisa section of Mayo City. So on Paradisa month, I made a mock of, you can see back there, the Rolling Acres Ranch from 1992. The Poolside Paradise from 1992. The Sidewalk Cafe from 1994. I made a mock altogether of a water park. It was based upon one of the old Friends water park sets. I wanted to include some of those pieces to make a power diesel version. Over there with those trans blue, uh, trans light blue glass pieces, windows, uh, that is a mock together of 
the Breezeway Cafe, which was released in 1990, and it was not a part of the Paradisa sub-theme of LEGO Town, but lots of Paradisa fans consider it cross-compatible with LEGO Paradisa, and I've always wanted to either piece together, buy, or mock together the Breezeway Cafe, so I thought this was the right time over Paradisa Month, so I basically changed out a lot of the red pieces and changed them to pink. So that is the Paradisa content of Mayo City now. I'm glad I was finally able to get these in because the Paradisa stuff that came before was very basic in design and these designs are much better, so I accomplished my goal in Paradisa Month. And the two other things that have changed in Mayo City is I, uh, you, you see that aeroplane back there, that used to be four studs shorter in length. And I expanded it so that I could, um, inspired by Tasman Bricks, you can find his channel link in the description below. I wanted to extend that aeroplane by four studs so that I could call it Shit Heap Airlines. You have to be subscribe to Tasman Bricks and watch watch his live streams to understand that reference. And I know majority of my audience is from North America. And in the US, you have Delta Airlines. In Mayo City, we have Kylie Airways. And that is a reference to uh, pop music because Kylie Minogue and Delta Goodrum are to Australia what Madonna and Britney Spears are to the US. So to keep up the joke of shit heap airlines being so crap at their jobs, the uh, that piece of um well that plane from shit heap airlines tried to take off, but because its engine was faulty, and it just didn't have enough power to get itself up into the air. It crashed at the end of the runway. So I, I thought that was funny. And right now, some passengers are boarding themselves onto Kylie Airways because much like Delta Airlines, they are a reliable airline company. So that is all the changes I made to Mayo City this month. I hope everyone enjoyed hashtag Paradisa Month. I literally just cleared off all of that stuff from my build table. And I hope everyone stays tuned for my for part five of Paradisa Month, which will be eight hours and the two hour after party afterwards. And I will try to build one of the sets that is in this hole I got from lego.com. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in that live stream, which is the next piece of content coming on my channel. I will see you in the no in the next short if I find something funny uh, to do. And I will see you in the next video. Happy Halloween, everybody. Be sure to like, comment, and share this video with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. To be notified of every Mayo Hosco upload, be sure to click that bell icon so that you don't miss out. And if you want to further support this channel, if you want to see exclusive behind the scenes content, if you want to get early access to every Mayo Hosco video before they get uploaded to YouTube, if you want to get the right to vote, the right to vote on some Mayo Hosco polls, to get some administrative control of what goes on around here, and you want to see the production value of the Mayo Hosco channel grow, as well as hopefully giveaways in the future, as well as a bunch of other different perks that make you in the top hierarchy of the Mayo Hosco community, feel free to support me on Patreon. Besides the comments section down below, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links to my social media and my Patreon are in the description of every Mayo Hosco video, as is a link to the Mayo Hosco fan club. And for another means of communication, you can find me at mayohosco at gmail.com. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. So...